Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld with our daily tarot card read for August 16th, 2013. And I'll pull three cards. If you've seen, there's a whole bunch of videos behind me. If you've been here with me every day, you've heard this speech almost, <laughs> but I'll get right to the point. I pull three cards, there's one main card, and there's two signifier cards or qualifiers that kind of explain what the whole day is about. And once again, I'll say it, and I'm gonna say it often, August is also not about the day, it's just about the week and the month. It's the end of the season. We're kind of closing down summer, so we have to kind of see where summer's taken us and where we're going to go into the fall. So our first card pulled will be the Two of Swords, which is the, the willing, full, indecision card. It's about having to have two choices you have to make, but you're intentionally blindfolded yourself. Your hands aren't bound up, so if you put a blindfold on, you put it on yourself. It's sort of like the won't choose between two lovers, won't choose between two jobs or two options. You kind of, you know there's two really pertinent decisions you have to be made and you're not willing to choose. So that's your choice. So can't put it over to you. And our friend Death has shown up again. And Death this time of the year signifies the end of a season and this is a, a time-based card. It's not just all about, you know, the rapid sudden change and the end of things and new beginnings. It's also about this is, the, this is the line in the sand that I would say that's drawing the end of the, uh, the season. So this is kind of the end of summer today. And the Emperor, which is the all-seeing, strong, masculine force, but also the Emperor. Uh, a little bit removed in his decision-making, sometimes, you know, not as emotionally connected as he should be. Uh, and, but, but wise, because Emperors don't become Emperors by accident. Well, sometimes in ancient Rome they did, but, you know, it's another story entirely. But what I'm interested in today as we see here, even in the colors in this in the death card in this deck, they're um, deep summer colors. So I would say that um, my prediction would be for today that we're going to see the end of the summer. That it it'll be the last hot, beautiful summer day. We'll have hot days again, of course, and things like that. But this is the the end of the run, and that this is it. So uh, get it in today and realize that you'll you'll smell it in the air. Actually, you get up and you'll smell that autumn is beginning to waft into the air. At night, early in the morning, when you wake up, you wake up real early, still before daylight, it's going to be like autumn is happening. So that's coming in. So now it's basically saying to you, you had your chance, summer's ending, it's time to make those decisions. Um, maybe it's time to leave some things behind in Summerland and leave it behind you. That they only that was a summer fling that needed to be left in that world and it can't come forward into the autumn. The emperor is going to force your hand in a sense and make you make decisions and make you understand things in a more final and educated system here. So flip sides of both of this thing, make those decisions. Don't sit there and it's not fair to you or the, and the two people that you're um, balancing this with, this triangle. It's not fair to the two employers that want to hire you. And you can't carry it forward past the summer anyway. So if you don't decide, the emperor will make a logical and maybe cold decision for you. So death is here. It's something to be celebrated because death is basically, in this time of the year, out of the four seasons, death rules the autumn because it's the harvest. You can't harvest something without killing it, unfortunately. You have to cut down the plants and bring them in. Even though they're still ripe and luscious and they look great, they are dead. So um, excuse my morbid uh, analogies, but that's the truth of the matter. And it's, you know, death's... Um, the, on his flag, on his battle uh, crest, it's the rose, it's the withered rose. And though things are still beautiful and great, and you might think you have all more time, it's the last day of the garden, and it's the last, you know, roundup of, uh, of summertime fun, and, and, you know, people that have been in your life that are passing through, they're going back to college, or they're leaving for the summer, or they're going, you're leaving for the summer, and, and it's time to admit that and be happy. And move forward with a clear conscience that you lived your life and you lived this time to the fullest and it lived the season in the season. But now it's time to say goodbye to that season. And, you know, I love the summer. I'm an avid gardener and I keep a beautiful garden and I keep all kinds of exotic plants. But I also live for the fall. The, I am one of the autumn people. I live in the October country. And I think you can guess that. And you'll see more of that as we progress towards those months. But So take a little time to bless what you've, what you've passed through and 
and thank yourself and thank the world for what it's given you. But um, and and say a melancholy goodbye this summer and move forward. And I'll, I'll look forward to talking to you further again tomorrow. It's been a very interesting, and, and I, I do really enjoy this read tonight. It's meant a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to you. And you have a magical day tomorrow. Make the most of it, and I'll see you around midnight tomorrow night. Thank you.